Hey everybody, Cody Mentz here. I have another What's New video for you. Uh, some pretty big news. So Twitch drops are coming to World of Tanks. You have a Sheriff weekend on the NA server. No idea what's happening this weekend as far as specials go. However, the biggest news, basically, we have another equipment sandbox server with some awesome changes. And Wild Tanks are finally, possibly, since it's on Super Test, getting nerfed. <laughs> so... Anyway, let's uh, let's start with stuff because there's a lot to talk about in detail when it comes to equipment and wheel tanks. Uh, starting out, World of Tanks NA and also EU are testing out Twitch drops. So this weekend, uh, basically Saturday, uh, on the World of Tanks NA official uh, Twitch channel, uh, basically you'll be able to connect your account. Uh, much like you get the rewards from Twitch Prime, uh, now you connect your war Wargaming account and... You can get drops basically for watching the stream. Uh, there'll be some CCs, Guido, uh, Sophie, Tribes Monkey, and True Voodoo uh, kind of streaming on their Sheriff accounts along with, I believe, War Gaming and A uh, basically staff. And this article kind of explains it all. All these links are found in the description uh, below this video if you would like to click them, order that they show up in a video. Um, you know, Talking about that Sheriff, uh, basically weekend, uh, basically June 26th to the 28th, you'll see a bunch of deputies running around. The times, dates, and restrictions, basically for tiers and stuff, are there. Um, you'll see a lot of them going around, and you can kill them for 250 gold. Tank Fest, so World of Tanks EU, uh, they're hosting uh, basically Tank Fest online. Uh, there's quite a few things uh, going on, but basically on the World of Tanks Twitch um, account. Um, for EU, you can also find uh, quite a few, uh, basically, or not quite a few, but quite a few streamers streaming alongside of it, obviously. But when it comes to the official channel, again, it's just the official NA and EU channels testing this out for Twitch drops. And we'll probably see this come to more people and more streamers eventually uh, to earn some goodies in game. Pretty much you watch and you get some freebies, epic drops being the Super Pershing and the PZ3K. General test is due to start. Uh, so basically, when is that? July 9th. So uh, basically, we're looking at, as of this video coming out on the 26th here, you know, a little over a week and a half away. So we're going to see what that basically Pearl River finally come. Uh, they're calling it 1.1 zero not 2.0 like uh, some thought including myself you're gonna see a lot more customizations especially for 2d and 3d styles maybe we'll see being able to remove more stuff and tweak them um you know who knows exactly and basically it's due to release basically august kind of coinciding with uh basically the 10 year anniversary kind of the official anniversary of the release of world of tanks and uh, so basically the Translation's not 100% here. Uh, we could possibly see some other maps being tweaked. They have quite a few map tweaks in Super Test, uh, say uh, for like Cliff, uh, specifically uh, Prokhorovka, and uh, possibly uh, stuff like Ruinburg, um, and even like Empire's Border. We could see some Super Test changes for a lot of maps in this patch. Um, possibly even for uh, specific tanks, but that might you know take a little bit longer. Wheel tanks, who knows? Um, but yeah, uh, pretty exciting stuff. This little video, it's only in Russian uh, right now on the uh, World of Tanks uh, Russian account. However, it does kind of tease that we might see basically tank races coming back and also the soccer mode uh, for potentially the next anniversary act. So, super test. Wheel tanks are finally getting rebalanced. Wargaming has said this for quite some time that they will be doing this, and finally they kind of publicly talk about it. So what's happening is, which you can read all this, and I'm sure eventually you'll see like an official like um, English version of this, is they're adjusting basically the wheeled mechanic, where, um, as you can see in this little nifty uh, basically gif here, the penalty for dropping um as for mobility your speed once you have that first wheel damage as you can see it's significantly dropped whereas right now it does not drop that much so that's a huge change it's not going to stop them 100 percent like being tracked however the changes as you can see between these two it's pretty massive so awesome 
Uh, they're also changing it so basically it's damaging the wheels touching the ground. That's the important part. So, you know, the wheels say in the center that are, you know, not touching the actual ground uh, basically isn't going to affect the mobility as much. Um, however, it does affect basically, if you read through this, it affects the speed and also so the power to weight ratio in a way. So if you're like turning and also slow down, it's going to be harder for you to accelerate back, whereas there's not that much of a penalty right now. So awesome changes. That's what these tanks need. Now, there's some other uh, stats where, honestly, I thought they were going to touch the um, gun dispersion, which is one of the best in the game, which they are. They're also nerfing the V range of the tier 10, which I didn't think that they were going to do. Um, and I didn't think they were going to touch the engine power and the maximum top speed. Uh, when it comes to like in the fast boat and stuff so honestly some good changes um, who knows how these are going to come out of the super test they might change before they reach the live server however all in all good changes um, like a lot more on the tier 10 than i thought but i don't think that they're overboard um, but we'll see we'll see what happens tier 9 honestly the tier 9 changes um, are pretty good they're just small um, mainly for the mobility, uh, but nothing, you know, specifically um, huge. And also um, not listed here, so the Tier 8 and the Tier 8 Premium, uh, they are going to be uh, changed when it comes to the new mechanic with the wheels touching the ground and also the penalty for each wheel. Um, they're not going to be uh, basically, so for like the Lynx, the EBR-75, nerfing the gun or the V-Range or anything at this moment, but they will be changing that mechanic with the wheels and the penalty applied to those wheels. So they will be uh, basically balanced, especially the premium one where um, some people might kind of overreact and be like, oh my god, they're not touching the premium tank. But, you know, from Raikosette here and also uh, so Watt Express, the premium are, is going to have that new game mechanic. They are changing the actual wheel um module mechanic and how it actually functions so good news don't forget tank rewards uh basically june 29th it ends make sure you uh, pick your stuff if you're someone like me you haven't even gotten a tier three yet so make sure you pick your stuff and you don't forget to claim it uh before it kind of poof gone for this month Last but not least, Sandbox. I recommend everybody to test this. It's your time. Wargaming wants your feedback, whether it's a survey in the game that pops up somewhat randomly or provide it on their live streams, their forums, or their Discord. I honestly would suggest you to provide feedback because they are looking for feedback. I like the changes they did for equipment. I'll go a little bit into it um, in the garage here. I think it's pretty close to honestly being really freaking good. The first version I liked, however, there were quite a few, um, you know, areas of concern. And honestly, I feel like they figured out those things here. I'm sure there's still going to be videos and people like freaking out over specific things and like, well, what if? Like, honestly, there's a lot of trade-offs to where it does get you to think about what equipment you should put on your tank and basically what you shouldn't put on it. And like there are trade-offs. Do so you go for like an all around build kind of like how we currently have with optics, vertical stabilizer and a rammer and then sometimes ventilation. Or do you go for a more specific build, but you might give up V range or you might give up damage per minute or accuracy. It's actually some it's actually pretty good. So like getting into things here, like I'll just go over like a couple little builds uh, for like uh, different tanks here and pieces of equipment. I'm not actually going to play any battles or anything. I don't want to go terribly long because this video, I don't want to go too much over, you know, like 15 minutes or so because I'm at like nine minutes right now. So for like a medium tank like the STB-1, uh, so each tank, so just going through the tiers here because this is a misconception that a lot of people have. When you start at tier one, there's no equipment and there's no consumables. However, um, your crew and basically your modules act differently at these tiers where you're not going to basically, and even fires where you take less fire damage. It basically eases you into the game when it comes to tier one and then tier two. And you can read about this in their sandbox articles, especially the original one. Uh, for basically the first sandbox where it eases you into equipment and consumables at low tiers, which it seems like it's unbalanced 
However, at these tiers, uh, depending on each tiers, you might not take module damage, um, except for like your tracks, and they honestly repair faster than normal, and you might not take basically crew damage, and so on and so forth, until you get up to tier 4, where you do have three equipment slots and three consum consumable slots. And then at tier 5, that's where you finally get access to directives, but you have no bonus slot. And then now at tier 6 uh, is where it starts. Basically, depending on if you're in a medium tank, you have mobility. Uh, if you're a heavy tank, you have survivability. If you're in a tank destroyer, you have firepower. It's SVG, firepower. And also a light tank, you have basically scouting. Each uh, basically class has that designate it one bonus slot instead of two slots that they balance tank to tank originally. Now it's basically all the same across all classes, which I like. So like getting back into things here, uh, so something like the STB one, honestly, when it comes to like your bonus slot here, if you're trying to pick something for mobility, which all medium tanks have, a lot of people are probably going to go with ventilation because it helps basically your DPM. Um, they basically... Um, reduced you know the bonuses you get on some of the equipment from the first test to the second test so it's not this massive bonus for putting it in the right slot because it's a little bit broken if it's it's too big of a bonus it should just be a small bonus uh, but when it comes to something like a medium tank if you think about um, you know medium tanks in general most people are going to choose vents but they also have this you know turret traverse vehicle traverse and also you have kind of you know vertical stabilizer put in there in a sense with a little bit smaller bonus some people might really like this if you're in a you know somewhat inaccurate medium tank which levi is trying to woo me to bed here <laughs> honestly like the additional grousers they're not exactly my thing but you know some people might like them in slower um medium tanks and also the turbo turbo charger too but for the most part, you still have at least like one option here. You do have two options to put into this slot. And honestly, for your other options, like I'm just going to stick with standard equipment here. Like for firepower for medium tanks, this seems too good for me still. Whether it's not in the bonus slot or is in the bonus slot for the 7 or 9% to your aiming circle reduction size. It looks like it works at all times, from what I've seen just kind of testing in battles. Um, and also on my live stream, I did some quick, basically, <laughs> Photoshop comparisons on, like, screenshots of the aiming circle size. Not 100% testing, like, under the same conditions, like, on the battles and stuff, but basically the same speeds and whatnot. This seems basically, it's better to take this than a vertical stabilizer. Um, like hands down right now, uh, the way that it's, you know, seven or nine percent smaller aiming circle, it seems to work at all times versus basically reducing your penalty by 20 percent to your dispersion while you're moving your uh, vehicle or you're traversing. Um, it seems hands down better than a vertical stabilizer. And that's the one I would say main thing right now that I feel like isn't balanced super well because there's no point in bringing a vertical stabilizer, in my opinion, if you have the improved aiming class. Like, just hands down, it's better. Um, otherwise, you know, gun rammer, like a lot of people are going to be picking gun rammers, obviously. You still have vents. When it comes to survivability for mediums, eh, there's nothing like super interesting here. And then you have your scouting with coded optics. Um, you know, you can put camouflage nets on uh, medium tanks. Um, you know, they kind of change that from, you know, basically the first sandbox to now. And you also do have like the low, low noise exhaust system, which does uh, kind of work while you're still and also moving. Um, basically getting into and like you know we kind of all see the stuff for scouts here i'm going to click over to scouts just to kind of stick with you know kind of the theme here where like, i'll stick with the pan hard because that's something like i kind of built this um and played this on my live stream for just a pure scouting build so you can get up the compan uh, commander's vision system up to 20 percent removing uh, the concealment for people behind bush bushes and also 12 and a half percent for moving vehicles um, so that's something where you can get that bonus which this you can still see they have tests on these two and there's not test on really anything else 
Uh, there, there might be one other thing, I think, that they have tests next to. So they're still trying to figure these out. They dramatically reduce the improve radio set, where you only can get up to two seconds for the duration of enemies and two seconds off of your duration. Whereas it used to be you could boost it up to four seconds. So they dramatically nerfed that, which I'm personally kind of fine with it because with, say, um, the directive here, you can get an additional two seconds, but you know that's kind of that's kind of the directive throwing a wrench into things where you can basically boost up, um, you know that a little bit further. But at the cost of like going for a pure scout build here, like you could remove you know this and then just go for optics, uh, say the improved radio set and maybe a gun rammer or something. But you are sacrificing like your damage per minute and stuff. Like this is almost identical to the mana core with the DPM, and you have much worse penetration. So like you're either specializing or you know you're putting basically. You know, you have to specialize or generalize when it comes to your playstyle. So, is it exactly broken? I I don't think it's I don't think it's broken. I know some people are gonna like huff and puff and say like, oh my god, like this is crazy on an EBR. But you know, they're just as we went over, they're gonna be kind of changing these. So, when it comes to like a standard light tank, if you think about people that like scouting and sca standard light tanks. And now you're going to be able to build so you do have that little bit better uh, spotting time. Or you might be able to cut through bushes a little bit better and, you know, weed out some TDs. It does provide some different play styles. But you are sacrificing, you know, damage potential. Or maybe a little bit of, like, pure view range. So it does provide some, I guess, different opportunities. And... I personally think that the changes are good right now. Like, who knows? Like, they could use a little bit of tweaking still numerically wise. But I feel like equipment um, and, like, getting to the heavy tanks here, they've smashed some equipment together to where it actually it makes sense what they changed. Uh, I feel like right now it's really close and it feels really nice. Like, you actually, instead of having, like, say, three or four pieces currently where you have vents, optics... Uh, vertical stabilizer and a rammer for most people you have like five to six choices on each tank which i know i'm rambling on here i'm getting a little bit too far into things but last but not least like focusing a little bit on heavies like i was actually pretty impressed with so like t125 putting something like this on a modified configuration class so faster repair, repair speed prevents one fuel tank fire ammo rack explosion or engine destruction in the battle plus boosts those and, you know, gives you other protections as you see here. It actually opens you up to possibly use food on this and don't put a fire extinguisher and not even need a directive where it does actually open up different play styles for putting this on your tank. Whereas for like a super heavy, you could still put your spall liner or improved hardening, which they add it. They basically push some equipment together so it actually makes a little bit more sense um, to pick some stuff for a heavy tank with the survivability and you know ultimately like for tank destroyers and stuff like i'm not gonna like let's see um i'm not gonna go over like every little bit here because i've already covered a little bit more like when it comes to like the camo net with some people are focusing on like it is a 15 possibly 17 percent bonus um but you know you don't have uh basically a bonus slot here for you know basically spgs and you know you're basically stuck with just the firepower so you don't get to bonus uh basically make that as a bonus unlike light tanks that uh, could pop it into that slot but more or less um you know it, it seems pretty or not uh, excuse me here like i <laughs> basically this does provide a higher bonus than light tanks right now i guess i just realized that this was just the td one uh with the different class but in any event the equipment it seems like a lot better this version like let me know your you know ideas in the comment section but they've definitely ironed out a lot of the kinks where you know all in all like I'm pretty happy with it. Like, obviously, it could use a little bit more tweaking, but I don't really see anything, like, glaringly bad 
like thankfully they removed which I don't even need to click over to Artie but I guess I should at this point let's go to my only tier 10 Artie I am really glad for Artie that they removed the improve aiming unit that thing was absolutely broken um, where they do have this improve rotation mechanism but that's really kind of like a pseudo uh, vertical stabilizer um, which can help a little bit I guess but you know is it worth more than a gun laying drive i don't really think so like maybe it could help on like certain arties that are moving uh basically their guns a lot left and right m53 m55 or a bat chat arty but overall i think the changes are nice you know they're getting close i guess next up we're gonna see you know the crew rework and some ammunition changes but i feel like with this sandbox they have going on it's whereas the first sandbox change was like 70% there I think it's like 90 95% I feel like it's pretty close and ready to kind of reach the live server I don't think there's too many changes they need to do the main thing is just vertical stabilizer to me feels extremely weak compared to that improved uh, aiming unit that feels really strong compared to the vertical stabilizer that's the one big thing I feel like they have left in any event Thanks for watching. I know I rambled on a little bit on equipment here, but uh, hopefully you appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Have a good night or good day, whatever. <laughs> oh God, it's so late here. Have a good one.